things have changed. Hey guys! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're Philly and Keely, and this is our beautiful self converted van, Martha. We've lived in her for two and a half years now, and last year we took her all the way through Europe, through Spain, Croatia, across into Turkey, and we had the most incredible adventure of our life. We met so many awesome people on the road that we got to share these incredible experiences with. But now we're back on the road and ready to take Martha off on our next big epic adventure. So if you guys have not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that bell right now and let's get stuck into today's video. Good morning family. Can I come in? I mean, you can if you want. There's space for you. <laughs> Anywho, so the weather's been a bit a hit or miss this past like week really. Mm -hmm. uh, but today the sun is shining. Feels pretty good. So we've headed towards the Loire Valley and we've just stopped off like beside a nice little river. Look at you frolicking in the meadow. <laughs> I don't like when I don't know where you are. I keep thinking it's the apocalypse and you've been sucked up to heaven. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to heaven. <laughs> <coughs> it's so beautiful here, isn't it? Almost like a little fairy tale. Isn't it? One day. And then you come out we'll and this old thing. This old thing. Turn it into a girl? horror movie. A what? What? A horror movie? What? No, I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> uh, ignore my cough for the video, guys. I COVID. swear I don't have COVID. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is that it? I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. You're the one that came over to me. Oh, yeah. I came to tell you that the drone's updating the firmware, so I've got 10 minutes. So do you want me to help you pack up? <laughs> this is behind the scenes. We have to wait for batteries to charge. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hyper. I've had two coffees very close to each other. Whee! So graceful. As a brick. Let's hit the road. YouTube. Okay, that's enough. So we have made our way towards the Loire Valley. It was recommended by you guys in our comments. We're going to hit up a place called Orleans first. It's like a historic town, city. Orleans. Orleans. I'm probably saying it completely wrong. And then we're going to be making our way on the bikes down the Loire Valley. Obviously, there's lots of chateaus here. Chateaux. <laughs> there's lots of chateauxes here. Oh, we're so we're so annoying, aren't we? I'll have a good chateaux, me. Oh. How else are you going to pronounce Orleans? What if it's like Ola or something? I don't know. How do they say L's? Is it just La? Maybe it's like Olans. <laughs> Help us out, guys, seriously. <laughs> Any catches in Orleans? Ola. <laughs> so safe. There's a girl over here. My guy here. This? The river here. Let's go explore this place. <laughs> Was that sarcasm? Hi. All I noticed was all the flags. They're huge. The cathedral's gorgeous looking. You right? Okay. It's very beautiful here. Yeah, what do you think of this place? This cathedral is just, buildings like this just blow my mind. They're just so grand. It is massive, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. Show us the scale. Show us the Keely for scale. Okay. There you go. Keely. Cathedral. This guy's got a bird just chilling with him. Hey, tell me this. Yeah? How tall were people back here? <laughs> Old Street. Oh, hi. <laughs> I love in these little French towns how they all have like shutters and the architecture is so cool and the buildings are all a bit wonky and the roads are narrow and cobbled and it's just really cool. French towns are cute, aren't they? They're very cute. Like me? 
<laughs> cool spot. It mixes like these old buildings with like plain modern stuff, yeah. Yeah. It's nice, good vibes around here. So now we're gonna go check out hopefully a little spot to swim. Ooh, now you're talking. That would be good. Good morning, good morning. Oh, I thought I was saying, look, there's two butterflies mating. <gasps> Ooh, kinky. Sorry. <laughs> morning, guys. Good morning. So after we left you guys in Orleans, we came and we found a really beautiful park up by the Loire River and it is truly exquisite here. Yeah, it's super beautiful and the sun is shining very brightly, so I apologize for my squinting. That is true, the sun is shining, which can only mean one thing. A swim? No, we gotta charge the EcoFlow. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys don't know, EcoFlow is a leading energy company and they make portable renewable power stations. And this one we've got here is the EcoFlow Delta Max. It's got 2016 watt hour capacity, which is insane. They have a mad range of different sizes, so they'll suit large, small scale energy needs, whether you need it outdoors, at home, at work, which for us is all three in this van. And it has been such a game changer for work for us lately. So their power stations are clean energy source designed to be quiet and eco-friendly. So you can charge this thing in three different ways using its extreme technology, either using ASC where you plug it in at the wall, it can even be charged through your 12 volt cigarette lighter. And for us, the thing we use the most is charging it via solar. So they sent us the 220 watt panel, which comes in this cute little case that we can slide into the back of the van and then it opens up and folds out. It's really lightweight. We can point it at the sun to get maximum solar power. So it's awesome. So EcoFlow can power pretty much everything. We use it to charge all our tech, but the main thing that it has made a massive impact on is being able to use our laptops and work in to the night before we would have to do our work during the day because we could only use our laptops while the sun was shining but now we can do our work at night enjoy the days out in nature and it's been such a massive game changer for us i'm really not just saying that it's been brilliant so this thing even has its own app which is just as sleek looking as the ecoflow is itself and you can control loads of different things from it see the charging status the power usage and if you guys are interested in one of these they have a sale on at the minute on amazon they have a huge prime day promo on right now with up to 46 percent off so check out the links in the description below to find out all about their amazing offers and more about the Prime Day promo. But for now, we're going to get this thing finished charging and go for a swim. Well, let's go look at the water anyway, see what it's like. Okay. So beside the van, there's a ramp that goes down into the river. We're going to go down and check it out. Well, there's a lot of fish, like a lot of little baby fish. These are like the ones that suck your feet. Oh, she is brisk. Yeah. She's also quite green. There's quite a lot of algae. Yeah, it looks quite yellow. So I don't know if that happened after you put your feet in or... <laughs> Are you game for a swim? I don't know. Let's take a closer look. It's very green. But I can understand why we haven't seen anyone else swimming in it. Is it because the fish are too big? Maybe because it's green. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> you never regret a swim. It's just something about nature, isn't it? Yeah. It just is good for your soul. I was gonna say that. And I know that sounds really cliche, but I honestly think it really, really is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. And the more you kind of just look at everything, the, the more you just realize that this is where you're meant to be, you mm -hmm. know? We're not meant to be in front of screens. We're not meant to be mindlessly consuming. We're meant to be Getting their hands in the dirt, swimming in rivers. Noticing nature, yeah. Exactly. Being present. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, we're down by the Loire Valley, we've got the bikes out, we're ready to go for a little cycle and we're actually going to check out a chateau that we have been to before. A few years ago we came on normal bikes that we rented and let's just say I was a massive whinge. <laughs> I was very red, I complained a lot. Is that going to change? I'm really hoping that having the e-bike is going to like make me actually enjoy this experience. So let's see, fast forward like three years, is Keely a more enjoyable cyclist to be around? Spoiler alert, no. Oh, I'm going to try. What's this, fashionista extraordinaire? Check me out. And then give us a t-shirt with a flamingo trunks, folded down socks with trainers. Yeah, Boom. This, is, this is the epitome Somebody of the call the fashion police because <laughs> somebody's committing a violation right here. Exactly anyway, so keys check, phone check, spanner check. Let's hit the road. I think we're ready to go. Or hit the dirt. I'm excited. Let's not hit the dirt. I mean with our with our cool sexy bike tires. Oh, I thought you meant like <laughs> fall off the bikes. No, I meant like let's go. Let's go fall off these e-bikes. <laughs> okay. Uh let's go. <laughs> this is so good. Bye Martha. Stay CF. Honestly, this is so gorgeous, isn't it? It is beautiful. I just love green, I love life, and I love not having to pedal hard. <laughs> <laughs> so do you remember this chateau? Um, yeah, I know we have seen it because I've seen a photo of us standing beside it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a terrible memory of places we've been, honestly. I only want to get your reaction because, to me, this is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing chateaus I've ever seen. Okay, we're gonna hype it up. I'm excited, <laughs> I don't care, I'm hyping this up. This chateau is sick. Can you see this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Only the best drone captain in the world <laughs> right here. I'm so blessed. Isn't it? <laughs> I do remember seeing it above the water before, but it's kind of crazy that it's literally like just fully built on top of the water. Yeah. It's cool, it's very beautiful. Throttle. Engage. That was infinitely more enjoyable than real bikes. Would you say it was très fun? Très fun. <laughs> très fun. So you guys, our French is getting better. Très bien. Très bien, yeah. <laughs> Let's get these bad boys back in the van and get some food, yeah? Yes, please. Let's go. Not a bad spot. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Super beautiful. I'm super hungry. <laughs> bon appetit. Morning. Morning. Is what? it morning or is it afternoon? Well, I mean, it's afternoon, but it's the first time we're greeting the camera today. I feel like this video is just going to be us traveling across France and stopping at random park ups. <laughs> we are currently like in the middle of nowhere and we found this lovely little park up and there's a river running along the bottom of it. So obviously we're going to have to go for a swim. The last couple of places we've went along the body of water have not been swimmable, so we've been itching for it. It's either been super gross or the river's been moving too fast and we'll probably die. So this is a tiny little stream. Okay. But it's it's deep enough for a submersion. A submersion? Yeah. Let's, let's go submerge. Let's submerge. <laughs> How close this river was to the van. There it is. <laughs> Hi Martha. How oh awesome my is this? girl. This is so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. France, you're just so damn quaint. Yeah, it is. That's the perfect word to describe France. Okay. I haven't told Kelly, but it's pretty cold. Oh, it is really cold. <laughs> Whoa, Billy. This is really fast flowing. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to walk. Wow. 
never regret a swim. Hi. I've been working hard. There's always that one thing that gets lost in the back of the cupboard. Keely. What is that? <laughs> He's alive. It's your very own onion tree. Seriously. How long has that been growing like that? How long has that been in there to get <coughs> to this level? Gorgeous. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. If you haven't already figured out, we're just taking this opportunity to sort some of our crap out. So if you guys have been with us for a while, you will know that we have had issues with this side door pretty much since we've had it. It leaks significantly and this here cladding, the glue on the back of it seems to finally give up the ghost and the other day it just randomly fell off while I was marking. We bought some double sided tape to try and refix it. The issue is kind of nothing on this door fixes, nothing kind of stays on it. It's just a bit of a shit show. You don't really see the inside of people's doors a lot. Okay, we have double sided taped all around this. This is the most scuffed thing ever. This is van repairs on the road, guys. Mm. This is what happens. So anyway, we're gonna try and stick it up. We're gonna see. I don't know if this is gonna take. And the first time it rains, it's probably all gonna stop working anyway. But we can't drive about with this thing on the bed the whole time, so. Look at the state of that. Let's let nobody see this stuff. Okay, okay, no one like, can see it. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> This is terrible. Yeah, we brought this really great quality van and then this door is just our downfall. It's just like polishing a turd. Yeah. You know, side doors are just terrible. If you're a van lifer out there and you've got a really gorgeous side door, please let us know, send us pictures on Instagram or whatever. I'm quite happy to be inspired into doing something with this. You ready? Okay. I tell you what. That stuck way easier than I thought it would. Shut it so that you can see it without the, the natural light highlighting all its flaws. I'll see, now that looks all right. So now it's time to pack up and hit the road, but not in the direction we had planned. I have so much work on at the minute, it's not even funny. And it's currently Saturday evening. This video is going up for you tomorrow. And Philly's in the van working on it right now. I've got all my examiner marking that I'm working through at the minute. And the last time we talked to you, we were kind of near the Loire Valley. And we're now in the complete opposite side of France because things have changed. We had all these great plans and all you guys gave us so many places that we should go check out in France and I pinned all these things on the map and they're all around the coast and all these different places we wanted to go check out. But basically, we realised one, France is massive, two, diesel's extortionate and three, we're pretty much on borrowed time right now because we only have five weeks left in the Schengen and to hit up all the places that we wanted, we would be really rushing them and with all the work I've got going on at the minute, it just felt like we were forcing something that wasn't feeling natural, you know? We have made our way east, never eat straight away, yeah, east, um, because ultimately we're going to Italy. We've got some, <coughs> <coughs> promise it's not COVID, I took a test. Basically, change of plan completely. We're not exploring France anymore. We've made our slow journey across France towards Italy and that's where we're going to be spending the next month before sadly thanks to brexit and the fact that one of us is still traveling on a british passport we have only got 40 days left if even no we don't we don't even have that anyway we're hoping that italy is going to help us get in a bit of a better groove get in a better workflow we're even toying with the idea of whether we should change how we upload on youtube for a bit we even talked about should we do some dailies again should we do live videos Basically, we're trying to figure out what's going to work for us. We have no idea what the fig we're doing. So please, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notified when we release another video because we have no idea when that's going to be. Next Sunday, maybe sooner. Who knows? I'll see you guys next week.